Well, well, well. Look who's come out of their cave. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm kidding. Come back here. Come sit on the couch with me. I was just about to watch a movie, but it'd be more fun to do it with someone else. Oh, come on. I know you're shy, but surely you can sit next to me for a few minutes. There you go. So, what's been going on with you? What have you been doing in your room this whole time? Just studying? <sighs> Come on, we all do that. I want to learn more about you. I haven't talked to you hardly at all since you moved in. What kind of cool stuff does my housemate get up to in the confines of their room? Really? No, that actually sounds like fun. Why didn't you open with that? That's the type of stuff I bet you could talk about for hours. Well, maybe not right now, but give it some time and I'm sure you won't be able to shut up about it. <laughs> you know, I never really realized it, but you're a Neko, aren't you? Well, I just saw your ears and your hat twitch. I mean, they're hidden, but not exactly very well. Why don't you take your hat off for me? Oh, come on, what do you have to lose? Oh, <laughs> see? They look so cute, and they fit you so well. Hey, come on. You should be more confident in yourself. You definitely have the looks to pull it off. I'm gonna guess by the rosiness of your cheeks that you're not exactly used to getting complimented so much. Oh, don't tell me you're one of those types who gets super embarrassed by any compliment someone gives you. Oh, you are, aren't you? Oh, it is gonna be so much fun to room with you. I'm just gonna be endlessly teasing you. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But I am serious about one thing, though. You are pretty cute. Oops, did I call you cute? I just meant your ears. And your face. And you. So, I guess, all of you. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not fun when you're just shrinking up and acting all stony and stoic. I know you're just trying to hide how embarrassed you are. Hmm? Oh, the movie? Nah, I don't really want to watch it anymore. Not when I have such a cute and interesting person like you to talk to. Hey now, I know you really don't want to, but come on, it'll be good practice. If you're so shy you turn bright red after some light teasing, I think a bit of light conversation would do you some good. Now, what more is there to talk about? Hmm, let's see. Oh? Are you seeing anyone? No one? Oh, that's a shame. Someone as cute as you should definitely be having a significant other. Wait, you mean no one at all? Like, you don't have friends? Acquaintances? People you've talked to at work, or in class, or something? There's no way that this is the most you've talked to anyone ever. Fine, not ever, but in the past while. Oh. That's just... sad. And lonely. I don't like that you're sad and lonely. You aren't? Are you sure? There's no way that living so alone can't cause long-term effects. Hey, look at me. 
Really, look at me. Are you feeling okay? Are you lonely? You certainly don't sound like you're fine. Hey, 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 don't cry. Don't cry. Oh, geez, come here. Uh, here, lay your head down on my lap, and I'll give you some scritchies for a little while, okay? There you go. It's gonna be okay. Why am I doing this? Because I care about you, silly. What do you mean, why do I care about you? You're my housemate. Of course I want you to feel good. And, well, if there's one thing I know about Nekos, it's that they love ear scritches. I'm right, aren't I? Come on. Aren't I? Oh, you're smiling. So I know it's working. You're such a sweetheart, you know that? Such a sweetheart, little Neko. And soft. So very, very soft. Wow. Hmm? I'm telling you these things because you need to hear them. Because I know that you hadn't had anyone tell you them before. And if I'm gonna be honest, it's cause I kinda like you. Yes, I like you in that way. I mean, you're cute, you're funny, and the little time I've spent with you I've enjoyed so much. You're just honestly such an amazing person. I mean, how could I not fall for you? To be honest, it surprised me too. I thought I'd just see you as just another roommate, someone who hold themselves away in their room and never interacted with anyone. Which, to be fair, is kind of what you did. But what I didn't expect was you being brave and starting to poke your head out of your hidey hole to see what was going on with everyone else. I didn't approach you then, cause, like, I didn't want to force you to do something you didn't want to do. I could tell you were shy, so I didn't want my extroverted ass to scare you off. Oh? You know, I kind of figured you've had a crush on me too. Well, for one, you were absolutely eager to lay your head in my lap. I was so not ready for that. Also, you would avoid eye contact, stutter, mumble, whatever else whenever I tried to talk to you. Oh, no, no, no. I know it wasn't just you being shy. I've seen you interact with the other housemates. Sure, you have some trouble with them, but with me, you have way more trouble. Well... Now that we know we like each other, what do you want to do about it? You think you want to watch a movie with me while I keep giving you head pats? Yeah, I think that sounds good to me too. <laughs>